All right, Shane Carr is in goal here to start tonight for the Michigan Wolverines, a junior from Severna Park, Maryland. And they go with split goalkeepers. We'll probably see Hunter Taylor a little bit later coming on as well. On the other side for Rutgers, it's Kyle Mullen. We've also seen a little bit of Anthony Palma this season as well for the Scarlet Knights, but Mullen gets a start in cage tonight for Rutgers. So look for that balance to kind of happen between number five and number 11 in white tonight. Here's Knobloch, 27 in white for Rutgers. Fires away, saved by Shane Carr. So Michigan with that 16 to 11. Over to Knobloch. It's the pick from Sprock. Feeds it in the interior, and the shot on the way by Ross Scott is saved by Shane Carr. And Michigan will attempt to clear it out. I like that take by Knobloch there in the dish to Ross Scott. Knobloch's the guy that we want to see come on. She works on to practice that, the breath work, right? The meditation, some of these things that these guys are starting to do that allows them to feel it in their body. 2004, Coach Connery. Also coached with Brian Brecht back at Siena back in the day as well. Another save, Mullen. Ball loose in front of the cage, and it's picked up by Rutgers and Jack Stahanzek again. That's great to see Adam Mullen there, who maybe didn't have his best game versus Ohio State, but to get one close to the cage like that, to see him back to his usual form. A couple saves for Mullen so far in this first quarter. There we go with Uview. It's great reaction time there by Mullen. That quick stick. He's able to just quickly get his hands up. We have three minutes to go in this first quarter. Michigan, Zawada, save Mullen, his third tonight. Scott, on the dodge, shoots, and the save made by Shane Carr. Block. It's the pick from Coolis. Doesn't have the angle, feeds it in the middle, the shot from Cameron, and the save made by Carr. As he goes to the turf and is able to stop it from scooting in. Being in the app, Indiana Fever have the first pick. Followed by the Minnesota Lynx and the Dallas Wings. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific from New York City. Coming up on Monday night. Ross Scott puts it back in. Comes off the pick. Turns around, shoots to the save from Carr. And he cleans it up. And that's a good take by Ross Scott, showcasing his speed and his ability to shoot. All right, how about Shane Carr here tonight? He's got six saves, the junior from Severna Park, Maryland. And you may only see him for another five minutes and 40 seconds because they switch up the goalkeepers, but what a night he's having so far. Yeah, Shane Carr is doing a tremendous job. See right here, just seeing it very well. Another one by Ross Scott down the alley. He seems very comfortable, both goalies do, between him and Mullen. But like you mentioned, he's only gonna be in there for so long, he's gonna get yanked. Something that I'm not too familiar with, but obviously Michigan's really comfortable with. They're bringing in another guy in Taylor, who they think's just gonna bolster, right? Bring a little bit more energy, reinvigorate them. Yeah, there he is right there, 52, and Hunter Taylor, who's the freshman out of Rockville, Maryland. So you got Taylor with a 10.66 goals against average, 40 saves on the season at 51%. And then Carr, who we're seeing so far here tonight, 14.59 goals against average per game. He's got 52 saves at 41%. I mean, they have the numbers, but, you know, Connery told us, he said, yeah, we're going to, they know going in that if he's going to play the start of the second half, kind of no matter what is happening, you know, in the first half with Carr, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah. Cohen, nice little spin. Back for Bain. Crossfield Zawana trying to get free, shoots, and the save is made. Kyle Mullen. Let's get him a pick. Sprock, go set him one, number zero in white. Scott. Clock winding in, five seconds. Scott being hounded. He shoots, a save made by Carr. That's big. And that's going to be the end of the first half. Well, and here we go. They're going to stay with Shane Carr from Michigan, the goalkeeper, the junior out of Severna Park, Maryland, and a nice first half there. He had six saves, and like we said, we've seen it a few times, especially in the last game. Uh, both goalkeepers split the game. 
And we were told that was potentially going to be the case again tonight, but they're going to stay with Carr. And right off the bat here to start the second half, shooting was Justin Wheatfelt after the faceoff, and the save is made by Kyle Mullen. He's still and if Rutgers can take advantage of this turnover, I think that we could start to see things shake out a little bit differently in this quarter. Great save, though. And almost a take in of almost 12 minutes now and counting. Here's another save by Carr. A shot from Amo, who's trying to get the hat trick. And yeah, we saw that assisted opportunity, uh, Knobloch, excuse me, to Amon. But that's another one-on-one -on -one take right there by Amon without drawing any slides, without making any passes and settling for the first opportunity by Rutgers. Just over four minutes gone by here in the second half. And they've won seven straight against Michigan as well. Spinning, Carr on the save on the shot from Knobloch. It off like they did versus Maryland or in those games that you just mentioned when they were down they had to come back and they did and now Rutgers oh what a save by Carr on the shot that time from Bay or make it Ross Scott and it's picked up by Cameron Rutgers still has it coverage begins at 7 Eastern 4 Pacific from New York City with a WNBA draft on Monday night on ESPN here's a shot from Cohen save is made Kyle Mullen what a save by Kyle Mullen just dead on Staring down Ryan Cohen one on one. Poor. It was Joe Newman for Rutgers that time. He's taking a face off. They're going to end up coming up with it and shooting. And the save made by Carr as that shot was put on by Ethan Rawl, the long stick midfielder. Fully here tonight. You can see how his presence has been much needed, or this could drastically be a different score right now. Yeah, and we talked to Coach about it. Truthfully, you know, I didn't know how important Cameron really was to this offense, but he takes a ton of pressure. Ross Scott. Spins by. Defender goes down. He shoots, and the save is made by Shane Carr. Here you go again with it. Just driving upfield, loses his man, and then Carr. I thought Scott kind of just pushed that. You got to hammer that home. That is the 12th save of the game by Shane Carr. Jack Amo. And Carr's got it again. And now Michigan, chance to tie under five minutes to go in the game. Shot clock, inside 10. Cohen, battling, shooting, save is made, Kyle Mullen. And what an effort by these guys tonight. Up to the top here, Jacob Jackson, working against Noah Daniels. Shooting, wide, back to Michigan ball. Bame to put it back in. Trying to go back up top, but almost got taken away. Mulholland's got it. Ten to shoot. Mulholland, wild one, and it's picked up by Mullen. Tremendous, tremendous defense. 55 seconds left in the game. Here's Scott. Back over now. Now block. Now block shoots, and Carr got a piece of it. For Cameron there on the inside. Now block. Oh Off the pick, shoots, he scores! Rutgers wins it in overtime, 13 to 12.